All right, let's recreate the Joe Rogan YouTube title screen here in Affinity Photo. Now, there's actually a couple ways you could do this. I'm going to show you the way that uh, I would do it. It's actually pretty easy to get the text behind your, uh, uh, you know, whatever people you have uh, in your thumbnail. So let's head over to this picture. This is what we're going to use. First thing you need to do is uh, put out your text, right? So grab your text tool. Just click it, click and hold to get uh, whatever size you want. doesn't matter. We're going to resize it later. We'll go ahead and call this the Roe Jogan Experience. All right. We're going to hold down Alt. That's going to give me a copy of that. Just drag it down. Double click, Control A, and then type in the number of the show. So we'll say uh, 1300. All right. Stretch it out. And we'll just set it here for now. Then come over here in your layers, select one of your text layers, Shift. Select the other one, and you can press down on the middle mouse wheel to move this out of the way, or hold on your space bar, and you can uh, click the left mouse button to uh, get your hand tool and move that around. All right, come up here to where it says Arial. We're going to change our font, and you can just type in Impact, or you can search for it. Then just move it around till we get our green bar, so it's right in the middle. Then grab our thirteen hundred, and go ahead and just drag this out till it locks to the end. It locks here. Now, if you look at this 1300 and then look at this 1300, you'll see it looks a little bit different, right? And that's because they scale it long ways and not, you know, fully scaling it. So what we're going to do is make this a little bit smaller and then just pull out one side like that. Select both of these layers again and just change this to white. There we go. So we pretty much have it. Let me just make sure it's uh, centered up here. Center that there. Center that about here. So now that 1300 looks just about right. And that looks good. I'm going to click the top one, hold down Alt and drag a copy of that. Double click, Control A, and uh, describe the guests. So Mr. Frankerson. Okay, good enough, right? And just center that up and put it right there. Good. I'm going to grab all three of those text layers. I'm going to choose my effects right here. Pull this window over here. And we're going to do a bit of an outer shadow, just a little bit. Switch the direction here if you want to. But I'm going to put it on this side. That's the side I like. And just a little bit of a stroke. So we'll go to outline and maybe about one point or one pixel there. You see, come up as much as you want, but uh, just about one or so is about what they're using over here. You can barely see the uh, stroke or the outline on that text. Now we have to get to the part where we actually put the text behind their heads. Easy to do. Go ahead and grab your uh, layer, whatever you're gonna cut out, control plus to zoom in, or hold down control and scroll in and out with your mouse wheel, all right? Just gonna loop this over just by pressing down on the mouse wheel to size this up. I'll grab this 1300, I'm going to take my opacity down so I can see her face, all right? You could just turn it off as well if you uh, prefer but we'll leave it like this for now come over here and your tool might look like this here so just press and hold and select the freehand selection tool now up here you'll have your freehand which lets you select things just by clicking and holding and you can make a selection Control d to get rid of that up here you can switch to the polygonal which is something if you've used photoshop you'll know exactly how this works so for the polygon you click drag out click 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 to make your shape Control D, get rid of that. Then you also have magnetic here. And what this does is locks to an image, the edges, the lines. So you click once and then you just sort of trace over without holding down any buttons, uh, whatever you're trying to trace around. Now for this, it's not really gonna work uh, for what I want, but uh, just be aware you have that tool, Control D. We're gonna use the polygon. So select your polygon, make sure you have this layer selected and go ahead and trace around your subject. Now we don't have to trace around her fully because if you look at where the text is, there's no reason for me to trace out around here unless you know you want to for some reason. So I'm not gonna be very exact here. I'm gonna just come down here, come over here, control and scroll up and just trace out her face through here. Just clicking where I need to put new points.
and then close the shape or the selection. All right. I'm going to turn on my mask right now and zoom way in here. I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool right here. Uh, black is selected right now. So whatever I paint, that's going to be transparent. Control Z that. I can hit X to flip to white. As you can see, X flips to white. And that's going to let me, uh, you know, draw stuff that I want to actually show there. Control Z. So what I want to do here is I just want to come in here a little bit on her nose. Now, you don't always have to do this here. But I just want to uh, maybe come a little bit closer there. Just refine that mask a little. Okay. All right. Just make sure this background part isn't in there. All right. Good enough. Turn off that mask. And there we have our shape. We can go ahead and take 1300 and turn this layer back up. Make sure we have this layer here selected. And we can go ahead and create a new layer just like you can in Photoshop, but it's a little bit different here in Affinity. So I can press Control C and then just Control V and that will paste that selection as long as your uh, background or your, your image is rasterized. So as you can see, it copied the entire thing over here. We don't want that. Let's get rid of that. Let's grab it, delete it. What we want, right click first and just choose rasterize. So now if I hit Control C and Control V, right there is her head. Then I can drag it up above 13 and there it is. But you do have a few more options. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that too. We don't need it. Come down, select our layer there. Then come up here to select and go to refine edges. Let me turn off this 1300 there uh, so we can see it properly and come back up here. Refine those edges. So we can change the border width. Again, a lot of times you can just leave this at the default. Change your overlay if you want to see a little bit better what you're cutting out there. Smooth it just a little tiny bit. You can feather it if you need to. In this case, maybe a little teeny tiny bit of feathering, just very, 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 very slight. You can see it looks pretty good there. And the ramp is going to change either, is it going to shrink down here on this side? Hey, you can see how the selection shrinks down, or I can pull it out here if I needed to. We'll just pull it in slightly, just about minus one, okay? Now from here, we can output the selection and then do the control C, control V method if we want to, or we can have our new layer created from this dialog box here. So I can choose a mask if I wanted to, apply that, that masks that out, not what we want here, control Z. Let's come back here to our refined edges. This time, let's do a new layer, or we could do a new layer with a mask if you wanna change the mask later on. I just say new layer. I look over here, once I hit apply, boom, there is our new layer. It hid the uh, previous layer, so turn that one back on. And we have our layer there. Let me turn on the 1300 there, and then just drag this layer of her face above 1300 in this case. And there you go, we have it. So it's really just uh, that simple, it looks pretty good overall. And that's the same way you're gonna be doing it for these uh, other people if you have multiple people in your uh, photo. So let's go ahead and do it again. This time I'm just going to speed through it. I want my free hand, I want my polygon, make sure I have this layer selected. And I could go ahead and just turn off 1300 or I could take the opacity down on this layer and go ahead and then trace around his head real quick here. And go ahead and close the shape there. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna take 1300, go ahead and turn this back up. Come back down here. And we'll do select, refine the edge. Not gonna do much here. Just probably leave it about how it is. Smooth it just a bit, feather it just a bit. This time we'll do output selection, hit apply. Make sure I have that layer selected. Control C, Control V, and there is my layer. Again, just pull it above whatever you want it to be. On top of control D to deselect, and there it is. Uh, I might have refined that edge or feathered it a little bit too much, so I can always come back out of that if I want to and just go ahead and make sure I refine that edge a little bit uh, differently. Okay, and there we go. Same thing for our last guy here. Turn off 13 in this case, and we'll grab our freehand selection tool. I like to use polygon and do this one more time. Pull this up top, and there we have it. 
boom. So that is how you would do the Joe Rogan YouTube title thumbnail uh, effect right here in Affinity Photo.